Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Japan. Look at this. This is your cryptocurrency update, and I am just thrilled. Check it out. We have gone over the 7,600 mark. Wow. Finally, right? It feels like we've been stuck for so long. Uh, 7604 and we are in the green. Wow, I feel great. And in terms of uh, Bitcoin being transacted in yen, it's sitting at about 52.3% today. If we take a look at the Bitcoin uh, by volume, Bitfinex is leading with a 32% uh, domination of the Bitcoin um trade and what we have here coinbase is down to 9.4 percent and gemini is sitting at about 4.5 percent what are you doing kraken kraken is where are you kraken 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 how come i can't see you where are you kraken kraken is 4.5 percent so uh united states is 16.2 percent Wow, it's just, look at Japan. They are just Bitcoin crazy. And as you're going to see in the other story I want to talk about, Ripple is also just going crazy in Japan. All right, so first I want to talk about Japanese mobile game developer Gumi launches a 30 million crypto and blockchain investment fund. And why this is important is because it shows us how this cryptocurrency space is maturing. So in addition to raising capital um, through ICOs, now the venture capitalists who are um, hovering over these young developers, uh, just waiting to take control of their companies by giving them money and incubation, uh, we have two that have come together and their main purpose here is they want to bring startups from outside of Japan to the Japanese market. And I think it's a good thing because, um, you know, Japan is a little bit of an island mentality. And it's not just because uh, we are living on an island, but also because of the language barrier. Um, very often uh, what happens in Japan stays in Japan. And this, uh, this sharing between the East and the West is just becoming um, more and more capable as people who are in the crypto space really don't look at the walls of language as a barrier at all. Okay, so I think it's exciting and we're going to see a lot more sharing between Japan and the rest of the world. Uh, next, check this out. No evidence whales are manipulating the Bitcoin price. So says a prominent trader. Well, I always think, yeah, I'm skeptical. Who's this prominent trader? You know, I did a video a couple days ago about all the crazy price predictions and, and I covered some predictions that were very positive, but at the same time, we've got a lot of predictions that are really negative. So you just don't know what to believe. Uh, you don't know who to believe. You don't know who is really um, worthy of being quoted in the cryptocurrency space. So this particular prominent trader is a gentleman by the name of Peter Brandt, and he has been in the commodity trading business since 1976. Uh, he is also um, somebody who now has founded his company called Factor. And Factor is, uh, the model of Factor is a subscription base where he does a lot of writing on his analysis. And it's, uh, if you want to get access to his information, you can subscribe to his website. So in 1980, uh, he founded this factor trading company and in his capacity as CEO, uh, he was primarily engaged in trading proprietary capital and factor trading also produced market research and managed the trading activities of several large institutional clients. So I think because he's been uh, in the 
trading environment for a long time. I do think he might be someone that we can rely on in, in terms of his opinion. So let's take a look at what he says. He says, um, and according to this article, he's a respected technical analysis. He believes that there's no solid evidence to back up claims that whales and large scale investors have been manipulating the Bitcoin price or the wider cryptocurrency market. So earlier this week, after various reports that the fall of Bitcoin's value coincided with the launch of the CME and CBOE Bitcoin futures market in December 2017, Brandt said, cryptos, there is no evidence whales have been shorting crypto markets. The weakness in May appears to have come from the liquidation of longs by small spec retail traders. So he added that it is not possible for futures markets to have an overwhelmingly impact on the Bitcoin price because there exists a fixed number of short and long contracts. There are always the same number of short contracts as long contracts, always, no matter the market, explained Brandt. So since December of 2017, the point uh, in which the CME and CBOE Bitcoin futures markets were introduced to the public, the Bitcoin price dropped from 19,900 to 7,500 by more than 62.3%. That's a lot. The sharp decline in the price of Bitcoin led investors and analysis to suspect manipulation in the futures market, which still remains as one of the very Pub, few public in, uh, very few public instruments investors can utilize to invest in the cryptocurrency market. Well, I would love to believe he is correct because um, he believes that this is basically um, because of the volume. This is starting to level out, and he says that Bitcoin suffered three major corrections in 2018, and each successive correction recorded lower sell volumes and drops. Mm -hmm. A Bitcoin trade group echoed a similar sentiment to Brandt in a popular Bitcoin price discussion as it stated that the decline in sell volumes in succeeding corrections after the initial drop in the Bitcoin price in January show that the bear market trend is running out of gas. Woo, I like that. Not only is selling volume lower, but the drops have been less severe. So I really uh, hope this is correct. And I really hope that uh, Peter Brandt knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Okay. I'll put uh, both of these um, links in the comment section below if you want to review them more. All right. What do we have here? Well, today it was announced that Japan's BitBank achieves number one in 30-day Ripple XRP volume. So the first time in its history, Japan, Japanese Bitcoin and cryptocurrency company BitBank accomplished world number one in Ripple's official trading volume, ranking on the XRP market statistics for the past 30 days. BitBank was number one with, what is this? 2,727,293 some and some change XRP transacted, which is, uh, 16.7% of the market share. It's big. So 16% of the market share through BitBank. And then we've got 52 to 57% on average of all the Bitcoin being transacted in yen. I can tell you that uh, B BTC and XRP are incredibly popular here in Japan. And, uh, you know, and it's not just the 30 something uh, single guys that are in the crypto, but XRP for whatever reason is very popular with women in Japan. Yeah, that's on another story I did a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so let's take a look here. This is, this is 
Interesting. Japanese internet giant GMO to launch in-game Bitcoin rewards system this summer. Okay. Well, the only thing I don't like, uh, Cointelegraph uh, chose to put this illustration, um, which is wrong because gaming in this country is done uh, on a phone. It's not done on a console and screen at home in a big living room. Sorry, but it's just not the way it is. So I think if I was the art director, I would have definitely said, uh, 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 change that illustration. That's, that's just totally wrong. So check this out. Japanese internet service giant GMO, which if you remember, I have told you they are one of the most aggressive uh, Bitcoin miners as well. They were the first company in Japan to offer uh, payment to their employees in Bitcoin as well. So they announced it would debut its Bitcoin based application for in-game rewards in August. Yeah, uh, this is called Crypto Chips and it is or it has a method of rewarding players for achieving certain goals and will initially launch solely with Bitcoin support. So, okay, so to launch with Bitcoin uh, as a payment, uh, as a payment, and it, when they say that it'll initially launch, I have a feeling they're going to add other coins to um, the game. That's how I read this. So GMO has developed crypto chips and it enables distribution of cryptocurrency as <clears throat> remuneration within the game application and will offer it through a group company starting in August 2018. It uh, will also, uh, it says that it will be a game that you can uh, play in English and Japanese too when you go to the website. So the crypto chips can be mounted on the game application and allows players to receive cryptocurrency uh, as remuneration within the game, like a secret pocket money. Yeah, everybody needs secret pocket money, depending on the player's rankings or when the players have achieved missions or acquired items. It's kind of like a Pokemon thing. I think you are... You know, like Pokemon, which has been, it still is incredibly uh, popular here. I wanted to show you, I took this picture, look at this. I took this picture in the heart of Tokyo in Minato-ku, which is a business district. And it's not to my surprise, but it's always, I'm so surprised how many salarymen, uh, are playing the game in the middle of the day. So he is just one guy to his right and back behind him, there must have been 150 salary men who looked just like him banging on their phones because they were all trying to um, power up to gain some sort of uh, elusive monster that's hard to catch. And when they do it as a group, they have a better odds to um, capture this monster and get uh, a higher ranking. So uh, no doubt that when this game launches and if you can get paid in Bitcoin, oh, I, just, I just can't even imagine how many people I'm going to see on the side of the uh, sidewalks playing. So Let's take a let's just take a quick peek here. This is the GMO Internet Group uh, official website with its press release, and yeah, so the game application. Let's see, starting uh, same thing, August of two thousand eighteen, and does it have anything? The secret pocket money. I I want some secret pocket money. So it's a real, okay. So it's a real time territorial battle game called Whimsical War. And they will launch the distribution of Bitcoin in accordance with the player rankings and the game in August. So um, yeah, I want to play. I absolutely will be playing. Uh, I, I hope that 
let's if we go to the I think I can go to the official website here I can go I think the characters are still under development um, this is let's see looks like it can be downloaded uh, in the Google App Store and or in Google Play uh, okay here's a character here he looked like a samurai with uh, kind of his sword and tabby or get a shoes uh, the most powerful rival is your best partner team up with your friend on two on two tag battles oh my gosh this is going to be a big hit i just know it each character has its unique characteristics it uh attacks defends or balancing both let me go back and read that again uh, construct your battle deck which suits your own strategy win a territorial battles and collect orbs the more orbs you collect and the progress through the league the more characters you can use who will be reigning at the top of the world ah so attack the opponent or defend your territory in real time territorial battle yeah what do you think what do you think huh i think it's going to be a huge hit I really do. Uh, all right, so we can play games and get paid. Just like you can go post now on Steam it and get paid, you can play games and get paid. I love this world. I love the crypto space. Okay, everybody, I'm going to say sayonara. Please take care. Have a good time, and uh, we'll all talk to you soon. Bye-bye.